welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So this video is just going to be an information video. I'm not going to be showing how you do it in this particular video, but I will be in the next one. Anyway, so an interesting project came to my attention recently and I've been waiting for the developer to release their first pre-release version for testing. In the past couple of days, this exciting new product has been published to GitHub. So what does it do? Well, firstly, it's called Iridium Live and it's a Blazor server application which allows for real-time visualization of the Iridium satellites as they pass over your location. Now this works in conjunction with GR Iridium and Iridium Toolkit and it will not function without it. Essentially what Iridium Live is doing is capturing specific packet bursts which contain Iridium satellite data. A special Python script has been created by the developer to pipe these packets from Iridium Toolkit to Iridium Live. Now as these packets are broadcast over UDP, Iridium Live can actually be installed on a separate computer that Iridium Toolkit is located. Now Iridium Live is also multi-platform and as we speak there are Linux, Windows and Raspberry Pi binaries available to download from the GitHub page. It also appears to be open source, so you can go ahead and download the entire Visual Studio project so you can take a look and see how it works. Once you have Iridium Live installed and receiving UDP packets from Iridium Toolkit, you will start to see satellite locations plotting on the map. There are also some other tabs which show which satellites have been received and also the stats for each of those satellites. Now in this example that I'm showing you here, I have this running all on just a Raspberry Pi 3B+. I'm using an AirSpy R2 and a modified GPS antenna for Iridium from SDR kits. Now this took me some time to get working, purely because the resources on the Pi 3 are quite limited, especially if we're wanting to decode Iridium packets on the fly, run a web server application, then go ahead and view all that information. Now normally I would set my AirSpy R2 to receive the full 10 megs bandwidth, but in this case the Raspberry Pi 3 wasn't able to handle that sample rate and bandwidth, so I dropped it to 2.5 megs. Now within the airspy.conf that's located in the examples folder of GR Iridium, I did have to adjust the center frequency slightly higher so it could capture the packets that we needed for Iridium Live. In a future video, I'll cover exactly the steps which I've taken to get this working, but if you'd like to try this yourself in the meantime, I'll leave the link to the GitHub page below. Now, as I mentioned before, Iridium Live will work on multiple platforms. So if you already have a working GR Iridium and Iridium Toolkit installation, then adding this called Web App will be actually quite easy. So there we go. That's just a quick update, quick video on this exciting new tool that's just been released. Now, I can see that this is going to progress to something that could be quite good for those people that are interested in decoding Iridium, purely for the fact is that this is a nice looking front end. And the best part of it is Web based so you just run the web server and you can look at it anywhere anyway i hope you enjoyed the video guys until the next one take care and i'll see you then